I was gonna record the nice so miss. Clean? Not really when you fucking snapped third, was it? Second or not? solenoids, ballsy free spool, 40 something meters worth of rope, so still yet to actually use it. Uh, it's a Razwar bull bar. They're similar designs that they've had on another GQ, so I just got them to copy that essentially, um, just so it was to sit wider for the flares. Then all the scrubbies and sliders got done after it was all converted. Um, once all the flares are on, they're all made to suit. I think they were just the young blokes there at Silverline in Mount Evelyn as well. They did a pretty good job. It's got the grunt monster flares on them at the moment which have had a fair bit of modification. So I just took a grinder of those one day. If you look at them closely, me mate Stevie Wonder actually took to them with a the grinder. Good from afar, far from good. 37 inch sticky traps. They're just on a set of 16 inch dynamic bead locks through the four wheel drive shed there. So he did them at a pretty good price. And traps make everything look good. So suspension pretty much. Where do you start? So it's on three inch flexi coils. Uh, four inch remote res Fox 2.0 shaggers at Pro Diesel. So, if you ever need any questions or anything to ask about Fox shocks, go through him. He'll do a good price and he'll set them up, hold them, everything to your setup. Otherwise, everything else, every single bit of bar work, superior. From um, we've got the Superflex arms, um, everything's all adjustable GU bar work under there to suit the GU diffs. I've got the Hyperflex arms on the way, I've got the Superflex sway bar, which probably the best thing I've actually done to it, so it handles like a Commodore. Uh, both diffs, brakes, everything's all GU. Um, front's got a Harrow locker in it, uh, which being front locked and not rear with the LSD works pretty well. Don't need compressors, and it's on on the flick of a switch. It'll drop out cones, coil retainers, so you can pretty much get a trap level with the sill, and everything pops back in where it should. Ironman roof cage, white bars, just a cheap $200 eBay special. Um, which works pretty well, it just lights up everything. Um, and then with the steady spotties in the front, you, you see everything. So you see everything close up, and then you still get the distance at the same time, so it's not a bad setup there. Interior pretty much got started when I stripped it all out for the conversion, so it went back to just bare chassis, oh, bare body actually. Um, so it was all soundproofed, um, dynamated painted everything black so it was just a vinyl dye. Everything looked brand new, new carpet. And then I went with the Recaro replica uh, bucket seats. Getting them to fit was a bit of fun because they're pretty wide so I moved them across 
So you get more leg room and then move them closer to the center so that actually fit with the pillars. The whole sound system's done front and rear. All the doors are dynamated so it sounds pretty good inside. So I've gone with the uh, SAS water temp gauge. So I think it's the track so it comes up with the oil pressure and water temp in the one. The 1996 GQ Patrol LS3 crate motor. Um, started off wanting to convert to a LS1 after popping the RV30 and then got talked into an LS2, then to a L98 and then ended up settling with an LS3 crate motor. Walked into Mark's there and uh, pretty much you just tell them what they want and he'll just write you up a list. With the Mark's 4x4 adapters kit it was literally just follow the instructions and it's a piece of cake. Engine mounts, I just picked up a uh, LS1 engine block dummy fitted that in and then I think we had the motor in within a couple of hours. Straight after that it got dropped off at Fusion and uh, got him to do the snorkels. I've got both the twin snorkels now feeding into the airbox, all the piping um, and the quality on those pretty much speak for themselves. At the same time I think Ash did the uh, twin spell thermos. They pretty much move the car forward themselves. Um, drops the temperatures pretty quick. They work pretty well. They've got auto reset and breakers, especially for how much power and current they pull. Exhaust side of things, it's just the standard Marks 3 inch advanced headers straight out the uh, out the back. Not loud enough to wake your neighbours, but you give it a bit and she just roars. <laughs> So behind the LS3 is the TD42 gearbox, so that went in um, as the RB31 is too small to handle it, so they don't even make bell housings for it. So it's running through to the TD gearbox, which is just a 5 speed, and then 4 3 diffs, so she gets up and moves and isn't too bad. Keeps the fuel economy pretty well for what you'd expect, it's getting probably double what the RB used to have at the moment driving it like I stole it from getting 450 500 to a tank so it's double what the RV was getting it's like driving the RV turbo on boost all the time just better put a big thanks out there to uh, Ash at Fusion for all the snorkels and all the uh, fab work under the bonnet um, they look pretty fucking good and I've had a lot of comments there from everyone I'm um, gonna thank Phil and Matt at the full drive shed so everything suspension wise they've sort of gone through it tidy it up get it running exactly how it should um, Jay at Conversion Electrics uh, he's pretty much an LS wizard when it comes to dropping an LS into anything so um, I dropped it off to him and got it back within two weeks uh, tuned and ready to go and I haven't had an issue with that since. Big thanks to Joel at Mark's Adapters. Pretty much straightforward with what you need to go in. Tell him what you want and uh, he'll get that all sorted. Then there's all the mates that spent countless hours coming, coming around, dropping it in, doing all the little things, all the wiring, just getting all the bugs sorted. Probably should throw a thanks out to the missus too for the weeks and the, week, and the weekends, all the weeknights, just out in the garage, just working on it and just turn it into what it is. If you liked that video, like, share and subscribe to Oz 4x4 Sales.